Alright, let's keep things rolling in the final days of Agito. Trial of the Megalith. Even among such vicious foes, the gate mercilessly separates the team. Fight well, but beware of traps. Oof. We're going up another star. So we're going from five to six. Didn't I go up to six before? I did. Last floor's final optional mission was difficulty six. So we actually went back down to five, then back up to six. Huh. Okay, well at least we're in half and a half, I guess. What kind of enemies? What the fuck are you? Oh no. Great. Great. <laughs> Great. Great. This is gonna be a mess. Oh my goodness. Alright, so we have eight characters to self-destruct. Uh, I only let one of them do a move last time, so I, I think... At least from the data I have so far, all I know is that they, they do self-destruct. Like, they explode. The... the Raptors. Oh, hey, I'm ahead of the diff I'm, I'm ahead of the leveling curve now because of those optional missions. Uh, so all the, I know that the Raptors explode. And I don't know if they do anything else. I don't know if they sometimes melee or something. Like, in Final Fantasy, bombs don't immediately explode. They do other moves, too. But, uh, the only move that I've seen one do is explode. And there's eight, and that's gonna be a lot of self-destruction. So, step one, don't put any of my characters near each other. If I can avoid it. Because the- then I want cluster explosions. Then we have a Volbamud, which I don't even know what that is. But it's another green guy. I think the green guy in the last mission was called something else, right? Yeah, they're Volds. So it must be an elite version of a, of a Vold, because it's a similar name. We went to we went from normal to elite within this in the span of one mission. <laughs> and then a Gravu, which is some kind of new mech enemy. The best I can go by is that it's a uh, it's called a Gravu, so it, it's probably a floating one. It, it's probably a hovercraft tank monster thing, if I were to guess. Let's see. So whoever I put on the on the top team is more likely to deal with the elite, and whoever I put on the bottom team is more likely to have to deal with the mech. So Toya should be on the bottom team because he's got the anti-mech skill. And Zenji on the top team because nothing about him feels like a good anti-mech character. Should I move Nagi into this one, or should I keep her out? I wonder. I just gotta I just gotta get Zenji. Getting rep up. Nagi is still top girl. Which, which frankly earns it. Let's see. Denji's still so low. But he's slowly building his way back up. Alright. So Hero is likely useful for the heals. I feel like the bottom team is most immediately in danger of being attacked by potentially both of them at once, even, so... I feel like Sahiro should be Team 6. And Nagi's a good anti-mech, so she should probably be in the Team 2. And then between Yoko and Mana, I'd want to have Mana up top as a tank character. To, uh, move in and help, hopefully. I want them to get caught up as fast as possible, hopefully, just so they can help the other part of the team, or something? Alright, well, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I haven't had to restart a mission for a while, I think. Oh, there's the traps they were talking about. <laughs> so those are mines, right? Those are just blatantly mines? Also, there's three self-destructing characters right in front of me. They look so spread out on the map, and then you realize how small that map actually is, and you're like, oh crap, they look like they're like next to each other. I bet, so I probably can't reach him, right? With Barrage? No. Nope. Good Torpedo Fist, so I will. The more I kill, the fewer we have to do, uh, explosions we have to deal with next turn, basically. Can I even get in range? Just barely. 
Really? Sanji! Sanji! Boy oh boy, you are the king of missing shots. And it, it is a genuine problem. Can I do any kind of AoE that actually hits these guys? Searing Blast is too small. Rubble Strike might be big enough. Hit both. Which means it'll hit the guy on the left while also killing the guy on the right to clean up for Zenji's mistake. What a shame. He's half down. Good. He's just gonna blow up on me well, now, but well, that happens. Okay, there's the big green guy. He looks friendly. There's an item over by him. I'm not going through those mines though. No thank you. And this guy's over here. He uh I think I'm right about the grav part. It looks like he's going to be floating to move around. He doesn't seem to have tre- I don't think he has tank treads, so he's just going to be kind of moving somehow. But yeah, he's another tank guy. He's got the triangle tread-shaped body anyway, so he's likely only vulnerable from behind. I don't think they're necessarily even specifically have a weak spot to the back. It's just that the back attack does bonus damage the way that it does against every enemy, and that seems to be the only way to penetrate the, how much armor those things tend to have. So we have four things right in front of us. If I don't run towards the two elite enemies, they probably won't have a chance to approach us. Yeah, so I can try to use that to our advantage. Is this a triple shot? Yes. Take this. Damn. You scary. Thankfully, these characters have a lot of AoE. I still want to see satellite, maybe against the big guy. Uh, Dragon Dive hurts teammates, though, doesn't it? So I should have planned for that. It doesn't hit teammates. Oh, right, never mind. It's not an AoE from that circle. I mixed... Because his, uh, his attack is an AoE from around him. But these ones are an AoE around a specific target. None of which have the kind of AoE I'd hoped for. But that one does. Move out. Down. Two down. My way. And their deaths their deaths don't hurt you, right? Everyone's full except for Zenji who got shot back. Two assist, this should be fine. <laughs> this team goes really well together. Takes care of that. It's just hard not to constantly stress how, like, Saw that coming. every character... Oh my god, he missed. That's amazing. It's hard not to stress how every character feels like they're really coming into their own, except Zenji, who is like, what do you do with him? Oh, the mines don't work on him. Or whatever they are, so I haven't actually activated them yet to see what they do. Movement mode? Oh, his movement's gonna go up. Which, frankly, is not that threatening, because his movement seemed to be, like, non-existent a moment ago. You're off wow, two of them killed themselves to miss an attack. Here I go. Nice. Alright, so there's two... There's only two of them left, and they're both right here in front of me. I'll tear Let's them do apart. this. That's convenient. Oh, I think I can hit all of them. Really? Really? I wish I could see it top down so I can adjust this better. Eh. I don't think it's gonna happen. And that guy's gonna probably be a problem. So great. Look forward to that. But we should focus on AoE for now. I think still... Yeah, my only non-single target attack... Well, I have Searing Blast, too. If I want to use that. That's 2040, whereas Rebel Strike is a 4025. So it's less sanity. Could go with that. Out of range, we're good. Hmm. 
And I think yours is still Torpedo Fist? Yeah, it's the only one. Alright, they're both down. I don't know if I want to have Zenji single-handedly take that guy on right now. So instead, I'm going to let the tank character tank, hopefully. I'm going to try to link with her to use her ability against him next turn. More. Even more. And the two of them can use Barrage on him next turn and just destroy, hopefully. Meanwhile, it's you three against this guy, who is going to move more next turn. And right now we have to deal with the fact that he's like, positioned over these mines, so we can't attack the back of him, which is frustrating. We can't- we can't attack him from behind, because... that. Which is my go-to spot to attack them on, which is really screwing me right now. Move out. Let's see, you fly. So I can just go over here if I want to. Go check out this item. <laughs> but if I grab it, I'll be trapped here. And then I have to deal with this guy. I could fly over there and help. Somewhat tempting. I wish I hadn't sat out a moment ago then if I was going to do that, though. I could use uh, Silent Slash, which would potentially do a ton of damage, but then she'd be alone and it would not kill him. You have to deal with these mines. Yeah, I'll take it. We have a healer. Whoa! Well, that went well. <laughs> Let's break line of sight. Hide around the corner. You don't. You don't have a buff, right? No. Then let's begin. Gonna hide around the corner. Gonna hide around the corner. He's he's got movement range bonus, but how much? How much? Like, he moved so little the first move. Oh, he's gonna go after them. Well, that leaves his flank exposed. Oh, I'm really in a Don't spot get now. In my way. Let's do this. Am I in a range to attack? Please. Uh, I might be able to use ranged attacks though that are locational. I can use rebel strike. But I can't use any direct attacks because I'm not in line of sight. And Searing Blast is a target attack. Yeah, Rebel Strike is the only one attack I can do that's based on a location instead of being based on a target. I know your moves. Five hundred. Well, the start. Then. Somehow that tiny sound is so much crappier when it's it's a tank that it's shooting. Right there! Coil shot. He can't counter me because I'm, I'm too far away. And so here, and Sahiro can boost him. Sahiro can send him forward. Did I just get into attack range too? Cool, so I'll do assists. If I can get into attack range, I should try to get to a better attack range though. That's probably a rear attack. A concerted strike. I suppose that works. So that now they're both positioned for rear attacks, so then when the other people hit them, if they can, uh, they'll assist, hopefully. I'm gonna do Tempest, though. What a nasty shock. Facing hostile resistance. No stun this time. Alright. Oh, I'm really in the spot now. Oh, I'm merely in the spot now. Oh shit. Come on. Torpedo fist. Yes. Oh, no counter. Because it probably has a broken line of sight, so it probably can't hit me. This line of sight's such a weird mess. <laughs> Alright, well you're... This didn't really go as planned. Oh wait, but you have... I, I synced you up with him, so you... Oh no, I synced you up with her. So you have only her moves, which is not great. For the situation where you can't reach. Well... <laughs> What I thought. 
Defer. Maybe not you. You're about to go crazy. Not the best call. Let's wait. Let's make you wait for a moment. Let's see what resistance. Nagi can do first. Because a silent strike might just kill him. Oops. It's a very effective attack, usually. Silent Slash. They have 1,700 hit points. Are you a melee character? Oh, you're a melee character. That's why you got, like, piston hands. He's dead, though. Jesus. Was it 2,400 damage? That was, like, a nonsense amount of damage. 12 points for Nagi. Well deserved. Jeez. 30,000 XP, 1,200 yen. Now everyone has one point to spend. You hear everyone's inner thoughts. Would you be this okay if sat around and let the world be You guys are starting to piss me off. There may be a traitor in this group. But don't tell nobody. <laughs> hey. So, do you have a moment? What do you think about Zenji? God, Toya, stop asking me about Zenji. I keep telling you it's not Zenji. I've told you like four times now, it's getting weird. Somebody ask me who it is. Ask me who it is, please. Sorry. Do you have a moment? Whom do you suspect? Yes. Agito. Makes sense. I see, that's a plausible theory. Good to know you've been watching so intently. Toya went up in rank instead of down? Oh, he went up in rank because all the people were voting for Zenji stopped. That's what happened. Okay. Right. Because all it does is check number and nothing else. And since there's fewer variations of numbers, uh, Toya counts as being higher ranked despite having fewer votes because uh, nobody else is in the, in the spot between him. And everybody else that was in the clear now counts as being a higher rank uh, uh, more at risk just because there's fewer numbers overall. The only ranks are one, two, and three. So now we're at the we're already at the point where absolutely everyone's voting for Ajito, and and he's voting for Toya, and that's it. Ah, oh, so Toya did listen to me. He and he stopped voting for Zenji, probably because he got word of Agito. I guess my opinion swayed them, but I feel like I'm being watched. Yeah, I think they're hinting at the idea that accusing people affects the story or something. Because they keep telling me that I feel like I'm being watched. Maybe it's the end? Maybe. Probably like, You were so quick to betray your own. Well, just kidding. Nobody was the traitor. <laughs> or something like that. I can see it going that way. Mana, can we talk to you this time? <laughs> the judgment is a real awful system. Especially since we're forced to vote. Agreed. You can just feel the depths of the end's malice. Still, if he really wanted to pick on us, he should make it so we know who voted for who. I feel like he's slacking off a bit. Hey now. Oh, was that improper? Sorry, mate. <laughs> what the crap? This place just goes from one scenery to another. You're right. I wonder how it's being done. Could be the way that Pillar works, could be the end's powers, who cares, I'll kick his ass. Whoever he dec- however he decorates the place. Just you wait and see. Mm -hmm. This time too, they just disappeared. What? Hey, don't say it that way. That's not what I mean. I may get depressed whenever I see someone get a race, but... In the end, I'm the one voting. Even now, I'm considering who's next. It's just bother- I'm just a bothersome girl who needs attention. Sorry that you need to deal with this. No matter how we slice it, that's the system we have. If in some respects, everyone feels some responsibility or inferiority. And yet, you and everyone else haven't run away from what, what, what must be done. I think that's admirable. Yes. You honestly have to question- uh, You honestly have the qualities of a leader. If I was able to cheer you up, even a little bit, with the so-called leadership uh, quality you speak of, I'm glad. Huh, thanks. I'm a bit... 
Energized again. Get it? Because every girl has the hots for show. Seriously, I'm pretty sure all of them except him I know openly had the hots for him at this point. <laughs> and maybe she would have too. She died really early. This floor sure has a lot of nooks where I can use my talents to make a difference, don't you think? It's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's Akito, the master of resourcefulness. You're about to die. You're about you're about to die. You're going to die. Oh yeah. Hey. This place has the atmosphere atmosphere of some ancient civilization. Yeah. It's like a ruin. Yep, and these stark changes in scenery might all just be misdirection to distract us. We should be careful not to stumble into a trap. Alright, this is to jump straight into the next mission after I check to see if the data is still consistent for my own sake. And, yep, the usual. I only want to really do meta stuff like leveling up and changing gear like every second or third mission just because it's so incremental and I can get a lot more done in one go when there's more to be done without having to like reacquaint myself constantly. Encroaching walls flanked by the imposing Impetus and his minions. Let's just say, actually, let's save real quick. I'm slightly short on time, so just in case I get interrupted mid run, I'm gonna save. So I can just start the, the level over at least. Encroaching walls flanked by the imposing Impetus and his minions. Sealed must fight back and avoid being surrounded. What's the Impetus? Oh, there's two of them. There's two Impetuses that are impeding upon us. There's ton tons of forts. The forts are historically just melee dudes. They're, lo they're looking bulkier now, but they're just more melee dudes. So six melee dudes, two melee status effect dudes that are hidden behind walls, behind, behind doors, and then the impeti, the impeti on both sides. They're also quickly re catching up in level. I was like, oh, look at all these people looking so much lower level than me, but now we're like... I'm like 25 and they're like 23 to 26. It's like, oh, okay, that changed quickly, actually. Okay, um... What is my goal? Defeat two Impetus. And don't lose everybody. 45,000 experience, geez. So, if I press those buttons... Okay. So basically my options are stick together or don't stick together. Uh, we're two separate teams of three, and each of those teams of three has to fight against three melee dudes and an impetus. If I press the buttons, all of our teammates can reunite together as a singular group to potentially do more damage and take care of themselves better and whatnot. But it'll let out... It'll give us access to one item, but it'll, it'll also make us fight those two... Volbamuds. Volbamuds. What are these names? What are these names? So if I if I press the door, I open. If I press the button, I open the door to the two toughest enemies as far as level is concerned, the two level twenty sixes. But my but I but instead of being two teams of three, I have a te I have a team of six. Hmm. All right. I'm thinking that I'm gonna need Sho, Zenji, and Sohiro, because Zenji's not amazing, so Sohiro helping out would be good. Whereas I can do an all-star team on the bottom. I think that's the way to go. Toya, Mana, Nagi? Like, they will obliterate. <laughs> they will just obliterate. Because Tanky, McBadass, AoE, Anti-Mech, and the flying character that wrecks things. And then Sho, Zenji, Sohiro will hopefully work out. Give it a go. I'm gonna my, my opening strategy is going to be to not press the button and deal with it as two separate teams and just try to defeat the mechs that make the make us win the fight. Let's do this. Because just killing them is the actual goal. <laughs> Doing that quick spin where everything hitches. Alright. Very small arena too. So you can see the green guy back there. Not in a hurry to deal with him. There's three melee guys and a mech. We can't reach them this turn. They give you plenty of time to choose to press the button if you want to. I don't think they'll be able to reach me down here, right? So... Huh. 
buff that crit rate. I'll tear him apart. And then Link. Synchronize. I'm basically just going to do a whole turn of prep for these characters to help set them up for dealing with these guys. A concerted strike. Leave it to me. Oh, if I had synced first, then we would have shared the buff. I could just set us up in, in case they attack us. That's a really expensive one, though. Punishment. That's that one. Oh, well. I think this counts as a chance to double buff myself. Is it the link? More. Even more. Well, then. I don't even know what his crit is like now. Let's see. Okay, so... Kind of the same basic thing. How are we doing on buffs with these characters? You can do an agility up, you can do a... Something else up. Uh, the vitality up. And you can stand still, basically. Are we closer in, in this case? Am I imagining that? Oh, the room does look a little more squished. Yeah. Almost like they ran out of space on the map maker or something. <laughs> yeah, I actually don't want to move that far. So they'll, they'll reach me sooner. Then let's begin. <laughs> Commencing assault. I'm gonna keep my distance till they make their approach. Agility and move. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna buff my own agility. Then I'm gonna actually have Mana get her. Understood. There we go. So Mana's gonna get more move because Mana's a melee character and she has trouble getting into range sometimes for her attacks to work correctly. So I'm gonna buff her move. And then I'm gonna let the enemies approach me on both sides, and then we're just going to try to just destroy them. Hopefully them running at us also groups them up. Because the walls kind of funnel them. So I'm hoping them just bunching into a group helps us cluster attack them too. Especially with the... Uh... Oh, that was close. <laughs> oh, that thing moves fast. Oh, there's the hovering one that I thought we'd see. The other one was called like a Gravitron or whatever the hell, so I thought that would be the floating one. Okay, this one's running ahead of them. That seems like non i that's some like non-ideal turn order from the AI. <laughs> He's blocking the path of another character who's gonna move. Oh my Let's god, they're so clustered for me. Oh, thank you. Thank you for clustering for me. Oh, it's so nice of you to do this for me. It's everything I could have ever wanted. I'll tear them apart. I'm spreading out so that we don't get uh, multi-attacked by what, that guy when he comes in. Don't want to deal with that. Thankfully, Rubble Strike just doesn't hit allies, which is great. Here. It's a fantastic AoE. <laughs> and then Sahira's gonna have to defer to Sho because he doesn't have an AoE and nobody needs to heal. Nope. A concerted strike. I'll handle this. Hopefully they die. I'm a little worried. Uh our ally didn't do nearly as much damage. Rebel Strike is 103. Searing Blast is 121. The problem is that it won't hit all of them. I'm somewhat tempted. I'm not confident that I can kill them. Let's try it. Ah, uh, even that wasn't enough. Alright. So all of them are alive, so I'm gonna get hit four times. Okay, that's pretty bad. That's not... 
not what I was hoping for at all. Move out. Well then. Let's see, you can do something nasty that might stun the boss type dude. AoE attack on everybody. Including a stun. Stun. Alright, well this team's got good news, and that's good, because the other team has a heal. So as long as I don't get downed in one turn, we're good. I don't know, my mouse keeps showing up. Is my mouse, like, very slightly moving sometimes, I wonder? I'm not even touching, like, the table. I'm using a controller. Huh. Well, this is gonna feel good. Ah, uh ha -huh. Enemies are getting harder to kill, which is a problem because they're in a giant cluster. Shit. Dragon dive can't be countered. Uh, don't hit my teammate. Dang it. I can do I can do thousand knives. Might even be able to do thousand knives in a way that hits the boss. Maybe not. Nah, I think it's impossible. Let's focus on these guys. With this power. Ah, that's not great. Not even one kill for either team. At least on this. Uh, the good news is that the mech is stunned on the other on the other group at least because they don't have a, they don't have a healer. I make this shit look easy. These guys are likely to each die as they attack us due to counters or not or at least some of them. Oh. Ah. It might have been better to focus fire some of them instead of the what the hell? Oh, he reached the end. <laughs> He reached the maximum of his movement range, and then he started doing the thing where he moves along the final... He, that one, like, straight line. When you when you cap out your movement range, you can just run along a line. And the AI started doing that. So the AI does some... Actually has... Even, the, the AI is actually struggling with the movement system in this game. It has to, it's having to backtrack. It, like, it didn't have its move pre-planned. Ah, oh, shit. I underestimate just how strong these guys are going to be. My head. So both teams lost someone. Hmm. Then let's begin. Here I go. You guys are relatively healthy, considering. Really, I can't just nail it. Oh, it's touch. It's going straight through his hitbox too. Or I mean, his uh, his his physical body. But that doesn't count. The good news is he's stunned. My head. Then let's begin. No, he's not stunned, right? Because it's over. No, it still says he's stunned. It said stunned for one turn, but it seems like he's still stunned. One thirty. They both use the same sanity. Just this one just loses less. Uses less GP. Make it a back attack. Take this. He won't be able to respond for a bit. But yeah, it's now like <laughs> I'm glad he got stuck. And the AI just broke for a bit there because I kind of need that. Rubble strike should take them out. I know your moves. Good. And I should be able to heat. Fuck, I didn't check. Shit. I can't treat people if I'm That was a mistake. I got fixated on what I needed to do in order to succeed and I didn't check a sanity meter. <laughs> He's getting... What is wrong with the AI? He can't get over here. He like legit can't uh oh. Oh, that's the other one. He straight up can't freaking. <laughs> oh, please tell me you like obliterate him. Oh, you're, there's a risk of that uh, succeeding. That yeah. Complicates things. Yep, that happened. All right. 
did not plan on that happening. I, uh, com I just was focused on what I needed to do to succeed and forgot to check Sho's stuff. Also, his stun wore off? Huh. It said he was still stunned, and in most games that usually means that for their... That means that they'll have their turn lost, but his, the stun wore off at the end of our turn, and so it was actually back during his turn. Are you okay? Which is a bit of a problem. Well, that complicates things. Oh my god, chance to inflict stun on all enemies on the map, and then also drive him over the edge so he just goes crazy and, and ruins this guy in front of him. That could be a chance. That could be effective. Just uh, just go full crazy across the board. Uh, both these guys are low-ish. I think that's the battle I need. Let's see what Psychic MP looks like. This one will hurt. Wait. Wait, when- did it hit show? I think it hit show. I think it counted show as an enemy and went and targeted them. Well, he's about done. Are you okay? Oh, that was a trip. <laughs> Do I attack him and then just see what happens? If I attack him, he gets downed. Eh, it'll... it'll ki if he goes after Mana, then Mana loses battle ranking for going down in combat, which would help... Potentially help uh, even things up amongst characters. Oh shit, she went crazy! <laughs> the entire party went berserk. Can you fail from that? Apparently not. Good to know. We're fine. Everyone, we won. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Jesus, Mana. They replaced the audio with another funny sounding voice. Alright, show, you better not die. Wait, did that actually work? Oh. It's still the enemy phase? Shit. Right. Because people are no longer berserk, they like skip their turns. This looks bad. Okay, now Mana's no longer Berserk. <laughs> That's like the dumbest thing I've done. Oh, uh, regret nothing. I kind of regret something. That guy has a lot of hit points. It's kind of a problem, honestly. <laughs> I might want to like run away and open the door. But no, I don't want to do that because those guys show up. Ah, uh, shit. I think I want to use combat alert. Right? If I use combat alert, then I dodge the next attack, so he can't hurt me. But then I counterattack him. That's like I think that's my only real option. No counterattack. This looks bad. My ranking is gonna be garbage. It's already not gonna be S though, so after S I don't think it matters. Let's see. This this mission's already a mess for a number of reasons, so I might as well just uh, embrace how stupid I'm being. Sorry to bother, but can you heal me? Nope. <laughs> nope, I'm just gonna sit here and restore GP. Leave it to me. Hot. You can't hit me. It's impossible. There we go. That's a counterattack. I thought I'd kill him with counterattacks, but he uses some attacks that can't be countered. But that's fine, because when I hit maximum, when I use combat alert enough to max out, I then not only will I dodge my next the attack, the next attack coming at me, but I'll also do a super attack on him that will end him because he'll go insane for the second time. Uh, here's hoping this game doesn't have the darkest dungeon heart attack system, where if you go crazy twice, you die, because uh, that's going to be a problem. Hit 100% chance, except for the part where it doesn't do 100% chance. Psych. My head. All right. Well, this should be it. Oh, I'm out of GP. No. Oh. 
Mmm. Item. Heal capsule. Damn it. <laughs> I did not account for that. <laughs> Let me have my funny, stupid way of winning, damn it. Alright. Damn it. Leave it to me. Premonition! Oh my god, premonition triggered. <laughs> And it ended his turn because Premonition skips the enemy's turn! <laughs> My head. This should not be working. This is bullshit. <laughs> Come on. Good. This is the dumbest victory I've ever had. <laughs> victory. Is there an F in this game? Can I get an F? I feel our teamwork is getting much better. I'd say we're starting to make a pretty good team. If we went to the outside world now, we could probably even take over. Well, that's assuming that there is an outside world still. I'm becoming rather acquainted with all of you. How should I put it? Like I belong here. I feel that you're more like family than simple comrades. It's kind of mysterious how I feel so calm, even though I'm in the midst of battle. I haven't had this feeling in a while. This is what it means to be comrades. This sensation only builds after years of fighting together in a battalion. But perhaps these extreme conditions have helped us deepen our bonds. I'm not usually an advocate of all this teamwork nonsense. But truthfully, I haven't found our time together so dislikable. If we made it out of here and one of you acquired some deadly affliction, you could feel free to look me up. Look, we're all here for the same bullshit kill mission. So if we gotta be friends or comrades or whatever, so be it. We have such great harmony together the way we are now. Oh, I know! Why don't we debut together? An idol group with both guys and girls. We sing and fight and punch out our competition. What do you think? Well, teamwork is practically my middle name. Love the stuff. Looks like you all can finally see the world the way I do now. You'd better keep up with me then. Love and peace for everyone. There may still be a traitor amongst our ranks. But even so, I truly believe that this camaraderie is genuine. Except that guy which we're about to murder. That guy right there on the screen, right now. We don't have many days left until the time limit is here. However, we should be able to accomplish our goal. We will defeat the end. <laughs> D. I don't think there is an F, because an F would just be actually losing the fight. There's no real consequence? Is there a consequence? Maybe the gift XP. Do you lose gift XP if you don't get a good ranking? I don't remember if... I think it's main missions gives you give you gift XP and side missions give you not gift XP. I think this might be... A, I think this was a side mission, so they don't give you gift XP normally, I think. These rankings are amazing. So Sho gets a billion points, and everyone else gets barely any or negative points. Negative toy is not good news, exactly. Zenji is zero. <laughs> oh, what a glorious mess. There's the gift XP. Look forward to more skill trees next episode. We cannot stop now. I'd say that's a pretty reasonable outcome. I'm going to act. leave my mark behind. Hey. Hey, show, show over here, show. Hey, so who do you think the traitor is? Uh, oh, who knows? Whoa, oh. crazy. Well, I guess that's one way of dealing with the situation. Ah, I hate it too. <laughs> I've learned not to accuse them to their faces because it hurts their reputation meter. And if I ever <laughs> find the patience to do an entire second playthrough just to see the true ending or whatever, then I might as well not sabotage the rep meters that apparently carry over in the new game plus. More so than I have with Marco. Hey, show, come here a sec. Thinking about this traitor stuff, it's gotta be Ajito, right? I uh, yep. <laughs> Thought so. Don't fall for their act. You'll see I'm right when judgment time comes. And everyone's still voting for Agito. Except Agito. Who can vote for Agito, but maybe he would anyway, because he's got he's crazy. <laughs> he might be willing to just vote for himself. Am I am I am I wrong? <laughs>